Hey there guys and gals, it's me Norex and welcome back to Beginner C++ Programming. So in this video we're going to do the homework of functions. Create a max of two functions, takes A and B, returns an int, compare five numbers with that function. So let's go ahead and create it. First off, I'm just going to copy this guy, paste it right here. This is our declaration. Now let's create the definition. One way you can easily create the definition is just click on this, hit control, I mean hold control and hit dot. Then enter and there you have it. The definition is right there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So let's compare the two numbers and return the biggest one. If A is bigger than B, return A. If B is bigger than A, return B. Or we could just take this out entirely. If A is bigger than B, we return A and we end the function. If this doesn't apply, then we go to the next line right after if and there we go. We don't, we don't really need that guy. Anyways, now we need to compare five numbers. Now I've already wrote some basic bullshit foundation right here for you guys, you know, just to make this video go faster. So we have five integers, we take five numbers, we have a maximum number which is going to hold the maximum value and we're going to print that maximum value out. So the maximum value is max. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is just assume that the maximum value is A. We're just going to assume it. We could put it to anything we want. Now, what we're going to do is go max is equal to max of 2 of max and A, right? Max of 2 of max and, well, we'll just, let's just put that to 0. Okay, so the smallest number, let's say, is 0. So max of A and 0. Max equals max of 2 max and B, right? And that's basically how we're going to do it. Max of B, C, D, and E. And that's basically it. But there's an issue here. So, we have already done it. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to tell you how it works and what's the issue. So, max of 2, max and A. If A is 5, then definitely it's going to get to be 5. Again, max of 2, max and B. Max is already 5. Because we assigned it here, A was 5, max is 0, max becomes 5, and then 5 and maybe 10, you know, and then so on and so forth. So when I run it, let me give it 5 numbers, like 15, 20, 10, 5, and 255. The biggest number is 255, of course. But the issue comes to play when negative numbers are involved. Negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. And the biggest number is 0. The reason to that is we are comparing max just like that. So what we need to do is assume that max is one of the numbers. 0 was never given, but it was printed because max was 0. We just assume that max is one of the numbers, and then we delete that number from there. And that's it. There we have it. So, if I write 15, or oh, I'm sorry, 50, 15, negative 5, 20, and 10, maximum is 50. Of course, it's going to work. Now, if I no, don't do that and put the biggest number in the second one or the fourth one or something, it's going to still work. Even though I assume that the first one was the biggest at the very beginning, it's still going to work. So even if I put it in negative numbers here, from negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, and negative 1, negative 1 is the biggest number, and that's how we solve that issue. Now this is one way that you could do it. Another way to do it is quite simple. So as we have already know, these guys get replaced by the value returned from them, yeah? So let's do exactly that. Max of 2 max of 2 of max of 2 of max of 2 of yeah so we're gonna do a and B and C and D and E now after each one of these I gotta close the parentheses up so we do a and B then a and B and C a and B and C and D and let me just explain it to you real quick so we're gonna start from the very inner the one in the inside the inner max of 2 okay 
So max of 2 of a and b, it's going to be either a or b. Let's say it's a. Max of 2 of a and c, it's going to be either a or b. Let's say it's c. Max of 2 of c and d, it's going to be either c or d. Let's say it's d. Max of 2 of d and e, let's say it's e, it's going to be equal to e. So max is equal to e. The, bigger, the biggest number is, of course, max. And that's basically one more way you can do it. And as you can see, I'm just going to go ahead and comment all these guys out. And just put an int here to create it and put it right there. So we can do 10, 5, negative 4, another 10, and 500. And as you can see, the biggest number is 500. And that's basically it for this video. There's not really that much going on. One function and the use of that function. Quite easy, quite peasy, quite lemon goddamn squeezy. And that's it. So if you guys have any questions, do write them in the comments. If you like this video, do leave a like. That would help a lot. If you really enjoyed this, then leave, uh, leave. No, actually, do subscribe. Don't ever leave. So that's basically it. And uh, see you guys in the next one.